Whew. Well, so that's another episode of Steins Gate Zero taken care of, and it was it was a hell of an episode. Ay, ay, ay. Um, so with the time leap from last episode, we saw that like the, the time counter spinning in 2011, and then it broke at the end. And when we see the opening this time around, Okabe is standing in full, you know, Hoi and Kyoma lab member getup, and everybody's standing around, but they got the shadows over their eyes, the very dark, like, you know, face shadow things that shows, like, you know, seriousness or whatever. Or, in this case, I don't know what it was supposed to represent. Uh, and we see this symbolic, like, he's standing on a clock kind of thing. And you know an episode's serious when it skips the opening and just puts credits over the animation. And that's what happened in this episode. So no opening, just straight into the action. He's, like, he was saying how it didn't feel right. His body felt like like his bones were made of steel. Like, he couldn't, like, everything was cold, and, um, he wakes up, and he's old. He's, uh, 25 years older than he was when we last saw him. Daru's skinnier, and they're stuck in World War Three in the world that he had done so much to avoid. He was stuck in it now. He, he, the, so... He was brought back. We th I thought that it was like the time leap machine put him in a coma, and he was in a coma for 25 years. I thought 17, and then when they said it was uh, 2036, it's, you know, 25 years. So, and he was supposed to be dead so much longer than, like, or longer past that, or whatever the, the theory was with him being dead and not being dead and stuff like that. So, we discover that the time leap machine failed the day that he thought it worked. And as a result... He, I guess it logged his mind, but it didn't, t like, send him back or something. And so he lived out the life up until the point where he was captured by Stratofor and tortured and experimented on until he was basically mentally dead. Uh, which was really dark. Like, this got super dark. Um, and so to bring him back, uh, Daru found the old computer with his memory stored and overwrote the overwrote his mind with memories from 2011. So the last thing that Okabe remembers is the time leap back in 2011. Now it is 25 years later. He awakes from this and is like he even runs outside. And we we realize or we learn that Suzaha had no idea who he was by look, which means that she had never really interacted with him. She thought that he was dead. And then when he says, my name is Okabe Rintaro, she knows him by name. So that means that this whole world line is different, which I love the way they do this. The whole world line is different from what we had established or what had been established in previous stories and in previous, you know, moments, even in this series. So they've done so much with this, changing things around. And we see that Okabe now is going out to find, you know, or, well, he wants to come along because... Rukuko and Ferris are, are in the middle of a trap because they were tricked into going out and they were ambushed and so there's that and uh, Rukuko defended Ferris and the others by using the sword skill that Okabe taught her and it, it was I even commented I'm like she's like I'm not gonna die until I see uh, Kyoma runs off I'm like great that's gonna mean that you'll see him but the catch is you'll probably die in his arms and sure enough that's exactly Exactly what happened. Ferris looks no different. Rukuko looks like a very feminine samurai monster. Uh, it was friggin' awesome. She was very skilled with a sword. Um, very, very skilled with a sword, which was pretty cool. Uh, and a gun. Uh, very skilled with a sword and a gun. It was a badass moment for Rukuko. I've got a new level of respect. But, yeah, she died. He died. It's a dude. It is a dude. And he died. He's very skilled with a sword and he died. <sighs> God. Why? Why? Um... So, yeah, and sure enough, he dies in Okabe's arms. The last thing that he, or the last thing he saw was Okabe, which, and they were like, that's a relief. You know, he wanted to see you more than anything, wanted to see you awake, and he did. So then we have this moment of him, you know, laid on a table with the original sword that Okabe had given him and uh, taught him the fighting skills with, and... Oh, man. And we see Maho. So, Okabe looks older. Uh, Daru looks older. Suzuha looks no different, but that's because she's in the right timeline. Uh, Mayori's gone. Kodosu's gone. Um, we've got um, 
yeah, but Maho and Ferris, but Rukuko looks different, but Maho and Ferris look exactly the same. And Maho even said, she's like, no matter how old we get, we look like kids. You know, I could take that as a compliment at my age. <laughs> but um, Okabe even said, he's like, of all, of all the times that I've been told, you know, by, by Suzuha what this world is like, I told myself that I understood. I told myself I did not understand. He's like, nah. and I feel like this is going to be the big turning point in this episode. I'm sorry I'm like kind of blasé about this because I'm still like processing it. But I feel like this is where Okabe finally has that turning point of realizing what this, what this World War Three world is actually like. Loss and sadness and sorrow. And I think we now know, or at least he now knows what this world is like firsthand. And... I'm just really excited for next episode because he he said, well, the time leap machine still exists then, right? Like, you you found the data, which means the time leap machine still exists. Send me back. Send me back to that world. And uh, so in the next episode, I think they're going to send him back to to that world line. Send him back to, um, send him back to where he uh, came from. And he's going to go and try to find Steins Gate one more time. And I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff like saying... You know, when Daru said he tricked the world, uh, or when Suzaha told Daru he tricked the world into thinking that Hoa Kyo was dead, I feel like we're building more and more towards what what Okabe tells himself, which is, you know, trick yourself, trick the world. And by doing so, I think this is going to be where he starts to build his theory and starts to build his, uh, abil or, well, build his, his idea, his plan to change the world line and reach Steins Gate. So I'm really excited to see that. I don't know how they're going to go from here, though, because if he goes back, he can't go forward again because he'll be stuck with that older technology where he hasn't developed a means of going forward yet, just backwards. And it's only through data, uh, memory data. So I don't exactly I don't exactly know what's going to happen. Um, I guess he'll have to live out this world again once he's sent back? I guess. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. So head on down to the link in the description because I can only theorize so much. I loved this episode, but head on down to the link in the description to watch this video. Let me know what you all think. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving this series. It's getting better and better. Uh, I am uploading to Mega now, so hopefully it'll work and not get taken down, but I guess we'll see. Make sure to like and subscribe the whole nine yards, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to be there and have a good one.